Thank you, Andy. And Aaron Matthews, let's talk about this Division 5 Region 16. Loaded division. Coldwater, two-time defending state champs. Only the fourth seed as you've got six teams 9-1 records, two teams 10-0 records. This is the division that OG at 8-2 couldn't get into, the region they couldn't get into. Is this Coldwater's region to lose? I still think it is, but I'm looking, you know, looking at the bracket and a potential 2-3 matchup of two teams that could be 11-0. You know, when you look at that and you see... Liberty Benton, Marion Pleasant, two programs that have been very traditionally very sound. And I'm wondering, are they, if those two do match up, are they going to Upper Sandusky to play that one? Because it seems like that might be the equidistant spot. But D5, Region 16, could be arguably the most stacked bracket in region in the state. Those games will be on Saturday. Mark Shine, Friday, Division 6, Region 20. Some really interesting matchups. Tenora Wayne Trace. Conference foes going head-to-head, -head. LCC Van Buren, Spencerville Crestview, conference foes going head-to-head. -head. Some really fun games on Friday. Yeah, some really good games. When you have matchups you've already had in the regular season, you know each other very well, you're able to prepare, prepare very easily. Um, I think it's a really great region and some interesting matchups. And then we'll quickly, Mark Miller, we know how good the MAC is. We know the history of the MAC in the postseason. Versailles, the seven seed, is that a potential upset as they go on the road to take on Miami East? I think any time a MAC team plays outside the league in the first round, it's a potential upset. Number, you know, if they're rated lower because they play such good competition weeks one through ten that uh, they're going to go outside and surprise some non-MAC teams. All right, thank you.